You done? You ready? Hmm? Yeah, you're ready. I sure hope it's actually gonna clear up tonight. Cause it's not looking great right now. Okay, so this is the telescope that we're gonna work with tonight for the planetary. We're still gonna take out that, which is my main imaging telescope. But this is just your standard run-of-the-mill 8-inch Dobsonian. It is probably the best beginner telescope for anybody. We basically just stick this in here. And it's technically ready for astrophotography. But the problem is, usually, is that right here is where your sensor is. So you have all this space. So you need to make sure you have enough focus or in travel on a reflector. If you don't, if you just buy a telescope like this, that's a reflector, and you strap a camera on, and you never can get focus, you have to shift the mirror forward. We are going to have almost as advanced as you can get, and as basic as you can get. So hopefully, we can get something good tonight. As you can see there, I don't know if it's not focusing on the mountains. I don't know if it's because of the mirror from being cold inside. You can see it's just completely fogged over. So I'm actually going to bring my other telescope out so that thing can warm up as well. Well, as you've seen, the Dobsonian, as soon as I took it out into the 96 degree weather, it flashed over with dew because it sat in air conditioning all day. So. I'm sitting here waiting for that to uh, de-do, it has a fan running. So I figured that I would just explain what the plan is for the night. My primary goal is to do planetary and lunar with that Dobsonian. With the moon out, it's not really going to be a great night to image, even though I'm going to take the imaging rig out because the weather is always terrible. So any night that I can get it out, I'm putting it out there. and. I'm hoping that it'll come into focus. Man, them clouds have been there for quite a while. Nothing's moving very fast. I sure hope it clears up. So this is what we're working with. Working with a Los Monte G11 with around 30 to 40 pounds of counterweights, including the shaft, a Burla bar, Planet Tripod, a Explorer Scientific 8 inch, uh, 208 millimeter is the correct uh, diameter, uh, f3.9. Uh, with the focal or the coma corrector, it's around 900 millimeters focal length. And it also has a ATIC 3D3L plus color, a pole master, and it's running an Eagle 3 computer with a the Ryan ST80 with a carbon fiber sticker around it and has a star shoot auto guider I know it's not the best but it actually works for me pretty good so since the planetary setup decided not to work this is what we have tonight it's extremely dewy I'm very much so hoping that these clouds go away the clouds are coming from the west which is that direction and I can still see a very thick thing of haze but you never know. I have the telescope roughly in focus and now I have Vega. I slewed it over the Vega and plate solved it. So now all I gotta do is throw my Batnov mask on, which is this thing. This is actually something that's made to help you focus. So this is what the Batnov mask does to my star, which is Vega in this instance. 
it causes these diffraction spikes and the goal is to have this center spike in between these four spikes and if you do that you're in focus now it looks pretty good but we're gonna actually use a piece of this software that is very nice called a batonalvade it is especially for this so all I gotta do is just kinda line this up recalculate it and then I'll shoot it again Wow, we actually got really close right off the bat. So, all I gotta do is just move the focus in just a little bit until this says on focus, and we should be good to go to image whatever we want. Now it's time to remove the Batonov mask and slew it over to our target. I think I'm just gonna go straight to M27 and see if we get anything. So I'll bring this over here, search for my target, and it's called M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. I had the batten off mask off the end of it, and I'm going to try to take a, let's just say a one minute exposure of M27, and just see if it's in there. Well, since the moon isn't up yet, the dumbbell actually is showing color in a 60 second exposure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate solve and center the dumbbell as much as I can with the point craft uh, tool. Because I already have a little bit of data on this. So we're solved already. I'm going to tell it to sync that solved picture to the mount so the mount knows that it's pointing right where that dot is. I'm going to click aim and I want this to be right on the center. And then I just click go to plus plus and it should move the mount and take another exposure. Well, right off the bat, my guiding is kind of doing all right. Should settle out a little bit. But usually I have a little bit rougher guiding than that right off the bat until it kind of settles itself out. So I'm going to go right into uh, taking five minute exposures of M27.